Hello and welcome to the Crokinole Accelerate 2023, where eight of the best National Crokinole Association players meet for a day of three miniature Crokinole tournaments. Today we have an exciting matchup between Jason Beerling, ranked ninth in the NCA, versus Jeremy Tracy, ranked fifth in the NCA. They are playing a style of crokinole called placement singles, where instead of shooting your first disc, you place it somewhere in the valid shot region. Jeremy places his disc closer to his side of the pegs, Jason eyeing up, and placing his disc on the edge of the pegs, giving Jeremy a difficult first shot. Jeremy manages to touch it, but does not get the off, but leaves his disc on the 15. Jason with an awesome double shot there. Jeremy laughing, making some comments towards Simon. A little bit of chuckling, some sideways talk across the tables, and Jeremy scores a 20 off it nonetheless. Jason for the open. And leaving it a little bit short, but maybe not close enough for Jeremy to make something of it. Jeremy goes for the easy off, hiding on his side of the pegs. Jason gets the easy off, leaving his disc just on the line of the 15 region. Jeremy happy to keep play on the outside, leaving a lot of Jason's discs on the board, though. Jason eyeing up the situation, not sure how to get through the pegs with his discs in the way, but he finds a path and hits Jeremy's disc nonetheless. Jeremy converts another 20. Jason to follow up with a 20 of his own. Jeremy tries following through, not quite to the 20, and maybe giving Jason an opportunity in here. Jason also not able to convert, but getting the off. Jeremy now realizing with only one shot left that maybe his 20s won't mean much when he loses a round. Eyeing up, probably looking for at least a double here. Seems to figure out what he wants to do and gets an off but just misses a 20. And Jason gets the easy off, taking this first round, making the score 2 0 for Beerling. And that awesome double and an open 20 for Jason with lots of discs on the board. Jason again with the outside placement. Jeremy tucks his just in front of Jason, probably hoping that... Oh, no, Jeremy takes it back. He's unsure. He goes for the other side of Jason's disc, probably hoping that at the very least it's not an easy off and that Jason might make an error and hit his own disc off here. <laughs> and oh my, Jeremy has made a mistake as Jason gets a 20 off the posted disc. Jeremy gets the off. Jason lining up for the outside disc here. And he gets the off and leaves his disc just on the outside, not giving Jeremy much opportunity to work a back into the 15 here. Now it looks like Jason is happy to just keep play on the outside, going for that outside disc again. And he comes to the inside, getting the double. What a beautiful shot. Jeremy hitting and sticking, staying in the 15. Jason peeling to the outside. Jeremy again, maybe trying to get the hide, but Jason gets it going through the pegs and hitting and sticking yet again. And Jeremy gets a little bit of a closer hide, but Jason hits it. You can run, but you cannot hide from Jason Beerling. As Jeremy has figured out, he tucks a button behind, but leaves Beerling's disc yeah, in the 15. One last shot, Jeremy's only hope for a tie is to get the double and a 20. And he hits a peg. And while it doesn't count, he goes for it again to see if he can get anything. He eventually gets the double, which 
again, wouldn't have won him the round. And here's Jason with that first immediate 20 off the posted disc, as well as this beautiful double shot. Jeremy first to place, just behind the 20 hole, a little bit too far for anybody to get a 20 off of. Jason eyeing up that side of the pegs region again. This is the third time he's gone for that spot, perhaps a preference of his. Jeremy lining up and getting off his death, just rolling to the line of the 15. Jason's eyeing up the situation, perhaps going just to hit the disc off and stay on the outside. Or maybe a double opportunity here. And he gets off and sticks his disc right there. Jeremy with a beautiful 20 hits the disc, catches a post back into the center. Jason with a nice hit and off keeping his disc in the 15 and Jeremy the disc down bounces around the 20 a little bit Jason just misses the open 20 his bounce but not in a good way like Jeremy's disc did Jason manages to get the off Jeremy lining up for another 20 now up three 20s Jason hits the open Jeremy hits and stays in the 15. Jason has a lot of work to do if he wants to take this round back. Jeremy now happy to keep play on the outside. Jason almost peels in. So that round is Jeremy's. With some beautiful shots and some beautiful 20s on Jeremy's end. But this shot, this last shot of Jason's has to be admired as he almost gets that last 20. Which wouldn't have won him the round but very impressive nonetheless. These first placements leaving the discs kissing on Jason's side of the board. Not giving Jason an easy bump and run, kind of just mucking up the situation on Jason's side of the board. He lines up and just gets a touch on Jeremy's disc. Jeremy goes through his own and gets the off on Beerling's disc. Jason seeming happy to keep play on the outside. Jeremy lines up and gets a double. Jason on phase, seeming to go for a follow through, doesn't quite get it, but leaving a mucked up situation on Jeremy's side, which Jeremy deals with fairly well. Jason unable to get the off, leaving his disc in the 15 though. Jeremy perhaps lining up for a 20, doesn't get it, but leaves his disc in the 15 and gets the off. Jason lining up for a double, doesn't quite get it. Jeremy again, happy to keep play on the outside. Jason seems to be lining up for a bit more than just one disc off the board at this moment. He gets the double, but he wanted the triple, as we hear him say. And Jeremy keeping play on the outside, unless Jason can clear all buttons off the board, and that's about it. Jeremy takes this final round, tying the match at 4-4. Thank you for tuning in to this Crokinole Accelerate match. And if you want to see more, we will be posting shortly. Let us know what you'd like to see. And as always, happy flicking.